Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Today, Treat Especial. I have it on good authority down in the doobly doo. You fellas, what told me this is the best cut off thing and whatever better even than the Milwaukee. Don't grind off your Milwaukee 2 tattoo just yet. Many a slip, quick cup and lip. I can't even. So tongue tangulated, I can't even chew camera and run gum at the same time. Too far. This here is the bumblebee version of the tool we keep handy on the workbench. It's currently on an away mission. And I bought the one from the hazard fart. Ain't no fucking good at all on account of it torquing out. Go ahead and start the clock. We got a bit of Franklish happening here. A tools kit for cutting tool only. So it's apparently not a kit. It only doesn't just happen in English. It's so messy. I'm going to forego the mini chainsaw today. Well, opposed to that Bauer version, uh, like a dog turd, we're taking this one out of the bag. Time! Despite having a little bit of shipping damage, I already like it <laughs> better. It feels better in the hand. It's a nicer grip. And it strikes me as quite a bit more compact. Unfortunately, as I say, it's on an away mission. I'll have to go get it for a compare and contrast later in the Vigeo. But for now, we'll get the, uh, we'll have a look, peel up the petticoats and have a look at the underskirts. That didn't take long at all. First chink in the armor. If you're the language Gestapo, the no fun police branch. What'd you call that? Uh, I digress. We were wobbling all over the place. Doesn't lock and it doesn't turn all the way around. Luckily, we'll factory delete that anyway, because how often are you gonna do a little nip and have a inch, inch and a carter vacuum tomb of a boob around? Never. Well, this is pretty chintzy here, this little flippy flap. I don't know, uh, polycarbonate. I don't know how long that'll last, but this is neat if you got a brittle material, speaking of polycarbonate, and you just want to score it, you can set your depth adjustment for a tile or something, and just score the backside and then snap, or I guess you'd score the front side so you get a cleaner edge. So you mightn't want to throw this right in the fuck it bucket. It might come in handy, but this... Come on. We got a little wave spring here for preload. These detents, interesting detents. It's just a punched, pressed, formed plate. Some nice little holes in there, but here's the pin prevents you from rotating beyond this little slot here. Uh, if you lengthen this out, then your detents aren't gonna work and then it's, yeah, it's, it's trouble. Not quite sure what they were thinking, being able to adjust it merely from here to say, yeah, doesn't seem to make much in the difference. Well, spice things up, come at her from the wrong side round. Gear case before Pixie Path. Let's hear a eulogy for bygone age when I did things proper. It's a nice gear case, all aluminum. It appears to be just a straight single spur gear might be glued together I got just the thing conveniently clapped to my clipboard tip it tip tip
Ah. Behold the power of the inclined plane. In a convenient handheld format. Oh, Jesus. Look at this. Damn thing tried to kill me. That's the plunger pin. Index is in a slot on the shaft in order to lock it so you can undo the retention fastener to get the abrasive cutoff wheel off. There's the countenance of the die cast alu minimum gear case. Some nice machining in there after the fact. Real tight casting. Got some O-rings to keep the schmutz out, or the schmutz in in this case. The bane of white couches everywhere. Let's not invoke <laughs> the great white couch incident of Hot 6. Never lived that one down. Well, now it's the gray couch, so no big deal. Well, that's molybdenum disulfide, and it gets every words. And there's a spacer here, what plopped out. I'm not sure where it come from, but... We can look at the part stack up or we can hazard a guess as to it being pretty much the only spot it can be, the back of that gear. And then there's a long bearing in here, press fit. Can't get it out without uh, smashing it. I don't want to break off these ears. So we're just going to see with our minds that there is a Either a double bearing in there or what I assume to be a long roll. You know what? The parts stack up would help us. And on the nose of the case, where the pinion pops through in order to gauge that tiny little bull gear, a nice Viton o ring, high temperature. Nice little touches. Machining's good. The cutter's not all worn out. Hazard a guess as to what this flopulator is for? I say it keeps some electronics in, but I'm not quite sure. We won't know until we get her split apart, which I will do forthwith. We're going to get a little meta on you. You know, 100 years ago when I first started playing with my tool, I don't think manufacturers back then ever considered that people would take tools apart, tear them down, see how they chooch for the benefit of well, me and my mom at the time, but now there's a few more than that watching these videos. And it's pretty clear to me that we've had a good effect because this thing is clean. It's clean. You never would have seen this 15, 10 years ago with the heat shielding on the wire loom, no flyaways, you know, no dried up spit boogers all that none of that stuff factory dust I remember you take a tool apart and all the shafts would be all rusty and stuff brand new from the factory because they'd been machined and just sitting in a puddle somewhere before they got assembled doesn't happen like that any it's amazing look at this this is beauty beauty the mold work there and that is not for no reason. A stiffener. Of course, it weeble wobbles. That's where it always breaks. You drop it or it wears out and it breaks right where the heavy battery hits the tool. Brilliant. They stiffened that up, strengthened it up. Details, man, details. On the back side of the battery connector, a little spring of a thing just to take up the slack, uh, give, give you a little give. This thick, this is a really thick board. Essentially all it's doing is just turning on a light, but look at the, look at the elastic or the uh, conformal coating that they put on the through hole connectors. Look at that, through the bias that, you see that? You never would have seen that in a million years, that little eye for detail, 10 years ago. This is the brain boxery and the driver board, completely epoxy coated, no user serviceable parts inside. 
Very telling about the state of the world, however. Not the fact that my camera won't focus. Made in India. This would have been maybe made in Malaysia, maybe China, but two years ago. Now they've switched. You can see there's an undercurrent in the world. There's little synchronicities popping up here and there. It appears as though we're getting some different manufacturing from across the seas. I really like this. See how this is its own module, its own casement. It pops off, it comes off of the main tool. It's, it's very module. Easy for you to say. Holy old fuck, boys. <laughs> We're out of our league. We get the bell of the ball here. They molded in after, after they soldered in the connections. They've gone ahead and put some high temperature silicon carney in there in a mold, no less. Poured it in there. Look at this. That's, I've never seen the like. Beautiful. This is amazing. I just noticed this. I'll point it out here. But the PA66 high, high grade of nylon with 33% glass fiber reinforcing. That's real hard on the molds, but for dimensional stability at high temp and high speed. Also got a little urethane pin in there. Sits against the bearing. Takes out some of those high frequency vibrations. Look at this. They've got ferrules. Ferules. I don't know if you notice this, but check that out. Beautiful. Beautiful. That keeps the insulation in place on the wire. No flyaways. No. Yeah, that's keeps everything nice and tight. You don't come across a last like this every day. Color me flabbergasted. I am impressed. We'll get this back together and make sure that there's no odd dickery with the control system torquing out on us or, you know, some sort of chintzy garbage. But as far as the innards are concerned, here in the Empire of Dirt, well, you got nothing bad to say. You can't say anything at all. Yeah. Couldn't find a decent stack up, but after downloading the PDF, my phone now has a syphilitic drip. Something, something. This little spacer has something to do with the detent. And this goes in all and all. It's kind of one of those things. Uh, so that goes like that. I'll get her. Uh, 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 yeah. It's just me and you now. I'm never allowed back in the house. I had her every which way but right. And I think this is the only way remaining. It's the spring on the outside. Like so. And then this fork in the nose goes in like so. And retains it. Retains it. Oh, that doesn't work. Or maybe it does. Eh. Eh. Oh yeah, I got her now. I got her now. You can slow us down, but you can't fuck us. Over. This teeny tiny O-ring goes in. Mm. Warsher. Huh. See, I had it on the back side of the piton. Huh. 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 Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's so simple once you see it. Lefty loosey, righty tighty, except when it's reverse thread. Happy to say. We gained an eighth of a horsepower. Easy. 
by loosening up that molybdenum disulfide and omitting factory deleting the extraneous fasteners what for the safety accoutrement all of this sort of stuff here in the people's republic of Kanakistan. we ain't got no coverage anyway so there ain't no point in gelding lily she never done nothing to nobody except maybe that one time in thailand but 3 a.m a mouth is a mouth we've removed the guard for the purpose of demo not demonstration mind demolition so a half a turn fart let the smoke out or oh yeah what for is that little i guess we'll never know key on deck one speed no feather touch that was a successful teardown. Let's uh, give her a try in the vice. Uh. <laughs> Bruh. That there is a killing machine. I hear you out there in TV land. Wait, it's a different piece of material than the last time and the blade is thicker than the... What do you think? I, I just got pieces of steel not being used, laying around. What I did previous experiments on. Yeah, of course I do. And oh, yeah, yeah, man, that right there is the cock for Dolly. There's no comparison between that and the Milwaukee. Let me just go and find a Milwaukee and we'll compare it. Okay, here's the Milwaukee and I see why the handle feels funnier because it's got to be girthy, more like a bell mouth for that 12 volt battery. These take the 20 volt proper batteries. So that, that's why maybe this has quite a bit less torque is because it's on the smaller, more compact batteries. But the handle isn't nearly as nicely fitting in the hand as this one because it's got a different fixation for the battery unfortunately this one dead did, 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 did. i just changed the battery freshly charged and <laughs> no pull we'll have to have this reddened down a bit see what uh, the malfunction in the conjunction is but for now this with the 20 volt more torque you can shake your spear at this i mean I think we have found the cock for Dolly. It doesn't stall out. Lots of torque. Well built. Same price as the 12 volt red one. Uh, what's the catch? I ain't seen one yet. Thanks for watching. Keep your dick in the vice.